Hello, my young friends. I'm so glad to be able to spend some time together today. And I want to talk to you about something very important. I have a question for you today. Have you ever been happy and sad at the same time? Well, I know I have. It sounds confusing, doesn't it? But let me give you an example. School's out for the summer. Maybe you can sleep a little bit later in the morning. You get to go on vacation. And maybe you get to do all kinds of fun things. That's the happy part. The sad part is you may not get to see some of your friends until next year. And I know you'll miss your teachers. So see, there's a sad part to that too. Happy and sad. Here's something else. I am sad because Pastor Patricia and her husband, Pastor Gary, are retiring. That means they will not be working in a church like they have been for so many years. As a matter of fact, today is Pastor Patricia's last day with us at Washington Street. That makes me sad because I will miss her. We will all miss her. She's been such a wonderful friend and leader, and she loves you children so much. I know she will miss you. So that's sort of sad, isn't it? Well, here's something that's happy. Next Sunday, we will be getting a new pastor. Her name is Pastor Becky, and she will be moving to Columbia and coming to Washington Street to bring new ideas and all kinds of new experiences for all of us. And she will love you just as much as Pastor Patricia has. So that's happy. That's good news. Now, God doesn't want us to be sad all the time. He doesn't. And there's a scripture in the book of Isaiah. Another fun word. Let's say it. Isaiah. That's in the Old Testament. And the passage says, Do not be sad. I am with you. I am your God. And I will give you strength and help you. I will hold you in my hand. So that means even during sad times, God is always with us to lift us up, to make us feel better, and to just keep us going. So, we always need to remember that God is there during the sad times, and He's always there during the happy times, because those are blessings for us. Now, I have a big announcement. This is happy. Next Sunday, when Pastor Becky is with us for her first Sunday, we will be having children's moments in the church again. Yay! We will be able to meet in the front of the sanctuary like we did before COVID. Now, we'll have to sit a little farther apart than usual, and we will have to wear masks. Those are two things we have to do. But the thing that is so good is that we will be able to be together again and see each other. And I will be helping with the children's moment next Sunday. So we'll just sit on the floor and have a good time and talk about God and pray and do all the things that we used to do when we were able to be together. So that's such a happy thing. Okay, I want you to remember to pray for Pastor Patricia and Pastor Gary as they go on their new adventure. And I also want you to pray for Pastor Becky and her family as they join us at Washington Street. Okay, let's bow our heads and say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for being with us and holding us in your hands during sad times. Thank you for giving us so many blessings and so many happy times. We love you, God, and we thank you. We thank you for Pastor Patricia, and we wish her the best. Please keep her in your hands, too. We also thank you for Pastor Becky. Hold her in your hands as she comes to join us at our church as our new pastor. We love you, God. 
Thank you so much. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, I hope to see you next Sunday at Children's Moment in the front of the church, and I hope you all have a wonderful and happy week. Love you. Bye-bye.